Gillis. I'm Kara Gillis, and this is Dayton Gillis. And uh, we're the owners of Gillis Custom Processing. Growing up, I had uh, done a little bit in the industry and knew I enjoyed uh, cut meat, things of that nature. And so uh, I got the opportunity to kind of start the business and purchase it from the previous owners, uh, Laney and Debbie Cope. It was always Cope's custom slaughter for years. We knew they had a good name and reputation. Uh, so, you know, we kind of talked to them for a while and, and made some discussions and, and they struck a deal with them. But without them, we'd have never made it. They kind of pushed us, you know, in the right direction and, and brought a lot of business back and showed us how they done everything. And that's kind of the, the stepping stone we needed to make sure we got off on the right foot. What's the, temp what's the temperature in here? About negative 10. About what, it, about what it'll run. It stays cold, that's for sure. <laughs> so like here, you got a sirloin steak that's labeled. Uh, probably all these sirloin different cuts, you know, for that customer that we've processed. And, uh, and they're just in there waiting to be picked up. We use a three day wait period, that way we know they're good and froze. And, uh, and we give them a call and they'll come get it and take it out to them in the bags and tie it up and they take it home with them. All kinds of products, pork, chicken, beef, all kinds of miscellaneous items. Biscuits, biscuits, stuff, biscuits, mozzarella sticks, and all kinds yeah. of stuff. We try to keep a little bit of everything in a good selection. And uh, we always, like on our beef and pork and chicken, we always keep the top quality grade, you know, that's available. And and, uh, and try, we cut, you know, the beef and stuff here, and the chicken and pork, so we can we can specialize a lot, you know, and cut different things that might not be readily available, like in, say, the chain grocery stores and stuff. So that kind of gives us an edge. I guess you could call this like the, uh, the breakdown table is what we call it with a sauce. So he's going off a ticket and that's actually a customer's half cow that he's about to cut. And uh, so he'll cut it based upon their cut choices, keep however they want it, and then they'll pack it, uh, freeze it, and it'll be ready to go in three days. We treat every animal as if it was our own, uh, you know, to give the animal the respect it deserves and to be able to yield the most product out of that animal to be able, you know, to you don't want to, uh, to slaughter an animal and it not produce everything it can. You don't want any waste, you know, and you want to get as much out for that customer as possible. And, uh, and that way they know that that animal was raised to feed them, you know, and to be able to nourish their family. It's the biggest thing to us. Yeah, family is always huge. Number one, us. yeah. That's we get to provide the meat for everybody around here that is telling me people from out of state, local, they all come up to shop with us and that's what keeps bringing people yes. back is the quality of the meat. It's been able to know that, you know, hey, the, the hamburger was ground here and the patties were made here and the roast steaks cut, you know, yeah. they, it gives them peace of mind. 